All right, tonight's reading is on a theme of National Day of Prayer. And I'll share that on my post. Not the National Day of Prayer, like what they do for uh, Christians, but this is like a prayer for different religions theme. So this is a Christian Judeo version. Actually, Judeo Judaism, because this is from the Old Testament. Jeremiah chapter 33 in the Old Testament. Promise of restoration. While Jeremiah was still confined in the courtyard of the guard, the word of the Lord came to him a second time. This is what the Lord says. He who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established it, the Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says about the houses in the city and the royal palaces of Judah that have been torn down to be used against the siege ramps and a sword in the fight with the Babylonians. They will be filled with the dead bodies of the men I will slay in my anger and wrath. I will hide my face from the city because of all its wickedness. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity and will rebuild them as they were before. I will cleanse them from all their, all the sin they have committed against me and will forgive all their sins of rebellion against me. Then the city will bring me renown, joy, praise, and honor before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble in abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. This is what the Lord says. You say about this place, it is a desolate waste without men or animals. Yet in the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem that are deserted, inhabited by neither men nor animals, there will be, there will be, there will be heard once more the sounds of joy and gladness, the values of bride and bridegroom, and the voices of those who bring thank offering to the house of the Lord, saying, Give thanks to the Lord Almighty, for the Lord is good, his love endures forever. For I will restore the fortunes, fortunes of the land as they were before, says the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In this place, desolate and without men or animals, in all its towns there will again be pastures for shepherds to rest their flocks. In the towns of the hill country, of the western foothills, and of the Negev, in the territory of Benjamin, in the villages around Jerusalem and the towns of Judah, flocks will again pass under the hand of the one who counts them, says the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will fulfill the gracious promise I made to the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. In those days and at the time, I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. He will not. He will do what is just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called. O Lord, our righteousness. For this is what the Lord says. David will never fail to have a man to sit on the throne of the house of Israel. Nor will the priests who are Levites never ever fail to have a man to stand before me continually to offer burnt offerings, to burn grain offerings, and to present sacrifices. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. This is what the Lord says. If you can break my covenant, with the day and my covenant with the night, so that day and night no longer come at their appointed time. Then my covenant with David, my servant, and my covenant with the Levites, who are priests ministering before me, can be broken, and David will no longer have a descendant to reign on his throne. 
I will make the descendants of David, my servant and the Levites who minister before me, as countless as the stars of the sky, and as measureless as the sand of the seashore. The word of the Lord came to Jerusalem. Have you not noticed that these people are, are saying, The Lord has rejected the two kingdoms he chose, so they despise my people and no longer regard them as a nation. This is what the Lord says, If I have not established my covenant with day and night and the fixed laws of heavens, of heaven and earth, then I will reject the descendants of Jacob and David my servant. I will not choose one of his sons and to, to rule the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will restore their fortunes, and have compassion on them. And that's verse, the last verse was verse 26 in the book of Jeremiah 33 in the Old Testament. Major prophets. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you, God, for this word. As this National Day of Prayer, we pray that whoever watches this video and hears your word will come to a growing personal relationship with your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we pray, Father God, for whatever Amen. they're going through, challenges in life, may their trust and dependence in you grow, and that you get all the glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Feel free to comment below on any prayer requests since this is a National Day of Prayer. And that's with all my videos.